Hi, I'm Kelly Thompson. I'm a leadership coach. Can we talk today about creating your self-confident? Like, is this really a thing that you can create yourself confident? Well, according to neuroscience and psychologists, yes, this really is a thing. So I started doing this way back in 2016 before I even knew it was a thing. I had some major life changes. I was having some career changes and something just in me just put pen to paper and I started writing as if I had already achieved some of these things that I wanted to achieve. What were my values? What was I going to be doing? How was I going to be showing up in that way? I, I sat down and thought, okay, by this time next year, what will my life be like? What am I going to be doing, achieving? Who am I hanging out with? All of this stuff. Well, this practice has a name. It's called future self journaling. And yes, this is a thing. And let's just talk about why this works and how you can practically use it to create yourself a little more confident and write yourself into the future that you want. So neuroscience shows us that every time, you know, we think about a new possibility or even put our pen to paper and write about our future or something new, we're creating like a brand new neural pathway in our brain. It's like a rut that you know our brain can go down when we're thinking and if we can think a new thought we can actually imagine seeing ourselves doing it and writing is one of the great ways to just kind of open our mind up to these sorts of possibilities and these possibilities create new neural pathways behavioral psychologists have found that writing about what we value even the people who we admire and how we want to show up and cultivate these qualities in our life for just 10 minutes actually produce confidence boosting effects months later. Yes, this is a thing. Psychologists out of the University of Pennsylvania talked about how people who wrote for 12 minutes about things they were grateful for and things that they wanted to create actually not only had better emotional well-being, but their biometrics, their body was responding better. They had healthy biomet more healthy biometrics results and they had a more positive outlook on life. So yes, this is a real thing, even if you didn't realize it. Maybe you've noticed that if you have something on your mind and you just write it down and get it out, you feel better. So how can you use this tip to help create yourself more confident? I want you to think about an event that you have coming up. One of my clients specifically was thinking about a conversation she was going to be having where she was going to present, be presenting her idea to a committee. And we talked about this future self journaling concept. I want you to write out as if you're presenting this as your truest, most confident self. What are you gonna do? What are you going to say? You know, what objections might you hear and how are you just going to effortlessly overcome that and navigate that situation? So she told me she did this exercise and she said, not only did I go into that meeting more confident, but I also learned there was gonna be a promotion on the table for a full-time role in this and I put my name in for that too. And she said, my current boss told me the hiring managers were just so impressed with my energy that day. Like, she's like, I'm considered one of the final candidates. That's the power that future self journaling has. It helps you idealize yourself as your most creative and confident self, which is you, it's your true voice. So here are some tips that you can do if you wanna sit down and you want to do some future self writing. First, think about someone that you admire. Not somebody you compare and despair against, but somebody you admire. It can be somebody you work with, somebody in your family, somebody that um, you know you see in, in culture around you. What qualities do you admire about that person? Maybe list three things. Maybe start writing about how you wanna cultivate those qualities in yourself and how you're going to use those qualities in your next big thing that you're imagining or this thing that you're writing yourself into. Here's another really helpful question. I think sometimes we think that we should feel confident all of the time, when in fact that's actually not true. I want you to ask yourself the question, what discomfort am I willing to allow as I move in the direction of achieving my goals? 
discomfort is a very natural, very normal, everybody experiences it sort of step that we all feel as we're stretching outside of our comfort zone and moving into new ways of thinking, acting, believing, learning. So just write about how am I going to accommodate, welcome, and embrace some of this discomfort that I'm gonna feel as I move forward. And maybe the last question you can ask yourself is, what's the smallest, bravest step that I can take to move me in the direction of where I wanna go? I'd love to hear about your future self-writing. I do it all the time. I always encourage my clients to do, to, to do it because you know, when we can see it and we can write it, we can actually imagine ourselves being and doing that thing. For more weekly confidence tips, you can follow me on social media at Kelly Ray Thompson. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and LinkedIn, or check out my coaching programs at kellyraythompson.com.